Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I poured my 12x12 pad for my cabin in the woods or storage building. The video is a little bit choppy because it was shot over several days and it's hard to film a video and work this hard at the same time. So hope you enjoy and uh, let's get started. So we are currently standing in my future storage building spot. Um, I've got the wooden frame set up here. And um, this is my first attempt with concrete ever, as far as making a pad goes. So I've got my wire mesh, my moisture barrier, and then I've got a truck over here with gravel. So I'm gonna put down a, a base of gravel first, and you can see I've got a difference in height from in here versus up here. Um, so it'll be a little bit thicker concrete down there. But let's get to work putting some rock down in here. Here's a look at the foundation with the bedrock on it. I suppose you call it bedrock. So next I'm going to put the plastic down for the vapor barrier and then the uh, metal mesh to keep concrete together. Now I have the black plastic vapor barrier down. Looking good. I hope. Never done one of these before, so not sure how much is supposed to be on the sides, but I'm sure whenever it, concrete gets on it, it'll pack it down a lot. So, all right, now on for the metal. Now I've got some of this wire mesh um, on top of the plastic in hopes that that will um, hold the concrete together some whenever it's poured. Well, in preparation for pouring my storage building concrete slab, I've got my, uh, let's see, what is it, two tons of rock, I believe. I've got one ton of sand, and I've got 12 bags of 94-pound Portland cement plus two busted bags that were free. I'm hoping that's enough. So basically it makes a three to two to one part mix. So now it's time to begin pouring. I've got this uh, cement mixer for the day. All right, so he says, turn on fuel line. Okay, push choke all the way. Make sure your cutoff switches are on. That's a speed indicator. Interesting. All right, let's see what happens now. Okay, I stopped the machine to show you my first batch here. It's looking pretty good. What I did, did uh, one bucket of Portland cement, three shovelfuls of gravel, two shovelfuls of sand, and we'll see what this looks like. I'm pretty sure this stuff pours out better when the machine is running, but for this first attempt, I just want to see what happens. Yep, it's gotta be running. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently the gears on my rental don't like to be turned upside down, which is strange. Well, here's my first load. Whether it's right or not, I don't know. Looks kind of rocky, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. We'll just play around with this and see what happens. If anybody ever tells you that you can pour your own pad, 
by yourself the small mixer, I give you permission to punch them in the face. <laughs> it's been five hours now, and I'm a little bit over halfway done. So I guess I'm gonna have to come back and do a top coat on this, I hope, because <laughs> it's very rough. Well, I put 14 bags of Portland cement, two tons of rock, and one ton of sand in here so far. And I don't know if this is doable or not, but I'm certainly going to try. Um, got this first layer in. So today I'm going to come back and get the uh, next layer in, which hopefully will be the last one. But um, never done this before, so just giving it a try. I know this video is a little scattered because it's hard to work and film at the same time. Been using the bull float to get the uh, pad smooth and uh, it's getting there. It's looking real nice. This slab is as complete as I'm going to be able to make it. A couple of little bubbles in there and like right in there, but in that spot it's not very appealing. But I'm going to put some uh, tile over that anyway. So. That's the final, uh, and there's a little low spot there, but I like it. This is the day after the pad is finished. I've come back out here to sprinkle water on the pad because I've heard that you're supposed to um, let it cure over time, and it needs to be wet to prevent cracking, so that's what I've done. But it is uh, fairly smooth. I'm very pleased. My first time to ever work with concrete at this magnitude. You can see the low spots pretty good here. This one holds a little bit of water. And then this one right here is also holding a bit of water. Other than that, the pad looks great.